of securing food played a major part with the development of civilization. It is also a livelihood for more than 200 million people around the world. Fishing is not only a source of income for them, but also a socio-economic factor which shapes the entire lifestyle. So generally the fishermen will bring their catches in in the morning. Uh, Tapra Bain has over 40 purchase centres uh, coming from Kalpiti all the way across to Mulatif and then even sometimes down to Trincomalee. Um, what happens then, the crabs will be brought in, they'll be graded and then they'll go into cooking and cooling. And then they'll be transported the same day to our, our factories. We have nearly 10 factories in uh, northwestern province and northern province. The crabs will then be debacked. They'll then be picked. Uh, it's a very skillful job. And then the crabs will then be transported to the factory. Our, our crabs from the net to the can, it's less than, less than 70 hours. In a lot of cases, nearly 56 to 40, 48 to 56 hours. With all our factories, we have more than 1,600 direct employees. On top of that, we have thousands and thousands of fishermen that rely on the company. Not just on the company, they rely on this resource, the water. And that's our, been our company's commitment. We talked about this earlier, about the eco-recommendation, about ensuring that the fishery remains sustainable. It's part of our vision was to be a global leader in sustainable and socially responsible seafood. We've achieved that for crab. But the real challenge is, how do we maintain that and how do we ensure that and improve on that? And that's something that we're working really closely with um, our partners to, to, to make sure that the people, the fishermen, the workers in our factories, the resource, the business is going to be there for years 
to come. We, we want to ensure that there's equity throughout the whole supply chain. And this is one thing that's very unique about Sri Lanka and the way that we've set up this business, that there is unique, it, it, it is transparent. Fishermen are getting premium prices, workers are paid good salaries and have all the rights that they should have. And also the company can make a profit. <laughs> in order to protect small-scale fishermen, the Indian government introduced a regulation, three to four day rule, where large-scale trawlers have to stay in harbour for three days a week. So Indian trawlers felt the need to maximize their catch on the remaining four days of the week and enter Sri Lankan territorial waters illegally and harvest the maximum. This invasion endangered the livelihoods of our fishermen. Their catch became poorer. After numerous protests of the northern fishermen, the Sri Lanka Navy had taken immense responsibility to safeguard the rights of our fishermen. Due to the halt enforced on poaching by Indian trawlers, now Sri Lankan fishermen make a bigger catch and it directly and indirectly upgrades their livelihood. TSG workers were also directly involved with these protests. And now, due to increased harvest by fishermen, TSG is able to start new mini plants to collect more crab from Trincomalee to Putlam. optimistic about the future of the Sri Lankan seafood sector. After three years of lobbying the authorities, we have successfully imported uh, bread and also farm and exported the first wanami out of Sri Lanka. The success of this project, has, this pilot project basically has allowed the introduction of wanami to the whole country and we expect the production to increase from 5,000 metric tons to 50,000 over the next uh, two to three years. With this, we expect another 20,000 jobs to be created and the export income to increase from 250 million to 750 million dollars. With the increase in production, we hope to give continuous work to our workforce and also in future, we are planning to employ another 1,000 to 1,500 workers. So in total, we'll be about 3,000 strong in the next two to three years. Taprapen is having two banana farm, up to two banana farms of uh, one pond is 22 ponds, another is 6 ponds. So like this, we are operating farms with a highly biased environment, which is uh, which is having rest pollution and it's good for the environment also. So we are uh, we are uh, having the polythene all ponds poly lined with the high HTP lines and also these uh, all sludges have been registered environmental friendly methods. No pollution is uh, created and all our production is by environmental friendly method. So like it is good for the economy and good for the point as the Sri Lankan aquaculture has came late, we are having a highest technology for the highest technology in the world. So we are we are increasing our technology, so we are increasing our production also. So it is a very environmental friendly farm, which is highly biosecure, it's covered by all the farm is covered by uh, bird fencing, crab fencing and bottom also lining. 
so it's good for the environment and even we are updating our technology so that in future we have a lot of uh, tank tank culture also so that will be highest of the technology we are also proud to say that in january 2019 we seafood watch certified sri lanka as the only sustainable crab fishery in the whole of asia with this certification we are now able to sell to uh, high end markets like whole foods in the us and the benefit we get from this we will be passing down the value chain back to the fishermen and do a accrual system where they get paid a certain amount of rupees per kilo and on top on top of their raw material price this year we're going to celebrate 10 years of innovation driven by inclusion and cultural diversity for taprabrain seafoods these are not just fancy words on the bottom of a hr policy sheet or on a website this is how we live and conduct our business i think for a long time we didn't really have the words for the way we did things but given where we are today and being able to look back i feel like this is how we've run our business in today's world many businesses move towards a global platform because of organization made up of diverse groups of individuals together with people of different ethnicities gender religion the young and old abled and differently abled strong and weak widows and single mothers all irrespective of caste creed and color through the varied experiences of our employees at TSG we the singalis tamils muslims burgers buddhists hindus catholics indians new zealanders and thais get together and create a workplace to improve our production at higher levels of success and create a happier place in the world because we all believe that life is all about being happy taprobane seafood group is one big family where all the employees contribute with innovative ideas to face future challenges and drive home success because together we are strong